Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will say that the first thing you should do whenever you are starting a new planner setup, regardless of what kind of planner it is, grab all the material that you have that you think you want to use and, um, you know, just keep it wherever you are, whatever table or floor that you're sitting on. That way you don't have to keep getting up. I just have to say that this is my favorite Target dollar spot binder of all time that they've ever had. So I'm really excited about this one. And if you haven't seen a Target dollar spot planner, I mean, it's pretty bare bones. You know, you really just get the three ring um, binder clip here on the inside and the cute pattern and that's it. So we are going to just go ahead and customize this today. So let's get started. And I am going to put it on the back of my binder here like this. And that way I have like a little storage area. So I'm going to use some double-sided tape. Now I am going to jazz this up and I have some really cute material that I have actually received from pocket letters. So pocket letters are a lot of fun too. The next thing I'm going to do is I really don't know what I'm doing with this space yet, so I'm going to go ahead and focus on this space over here. So this is the front of my binder, so when I open it, it will be what I see first. And I want to add this expandable file folder. I got this from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to remove the sticker. And I think I'm also going to remove this little wraparound um, elastic band as well. So I am going to use my good old trusty hook and loop fasteners. These are also from the Dollar Tree. One of each. And to align them perfectly, I apply them together like I did there. And then I am going to put them on the corners of this expandable file folder. So I'm going to do that four times. Alright, and now I am going to align it where I think I want this. So I'm going to put it not so much dead center, but a little bit upwards. And I'm going to press down. And then... You can pull it off and take this with you or grab it just to like look into it that way you know if it's just easier to take it out of your binder and go through you know your little slots here you can do that um, and then these are always going to be perfectly aligned because you put them down together and there you go so i am going to do the same thing with this flap right here because the elastic would have to go around it and it would be impossible to go around with it um, holding down to the binder cover. So now we're just going to add, I'm going to use a little small one. These are also from the Dollar Tree. And we'll press down. And then there we have it. So I'll probably put like a cute little sticker or something over this um, later or maybe even like a rhinestone probably actually. It's probably what I'll do. So here are some rhinestones from the Dollar Tree. That's cute. A bit of hot glue. And I've been thinking about this little section right here. 
And I want to bring this notepad set in. I hauled this from the Dollar Tree and just looking at it now, honestly, it's so gorgeous. I love this. So I th think I want to do something like this. I'm going to go ahead and use some double-sided tape. And if I don't like it later on, um, I will just remove it. So what I want to do now, and again, I will revisit the sides later, but I'm going to go ahead and start to fill in the inside. I will say I just noticed that there aren't the little push thingies to open here. My other Target Dollar Spot binder has them, but I guess this one doesn't, or it was broken off. I don't know, but I'm okay with that. So I've pulled all of the inserts that I had on hand. I even grabbed... Um, some of like the notes from my other Target Dollar Spot planner just because these sit in the back and take up room and I don't really use them in there. Here are some more notes. And then I also purchased this mini binder refills set. And what I love about this, it is $3 from the Target Dollar Spot and you get all of these notes and then you get these little dividers in here. And they're really pretty pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these notes and start filling them in here. And now I'm going to take a look at what's in here. Oh wow, these are really pretty. Little dividers and little folders as well. So I'll definitely be using these to um, separate and make categories and put this right here into this first divider. So I know for sure right now that the first divider is going to be my vision board for 2016, 2017. And I know that I want to do like I'm grateful for, so I definitely wanna do like an I'm grateful for section. Um, I think perhaps maybe let's go ahead and put some of these in here. And then I don't know yet what I'm going to do with this third section, so we'll come back to this. All right, so I'm just going to kind of close my binder right now, see what it's looking like. It looks great, so I'm going to open it back up and let's set up some more. I do want to add a bunch of cute paper clips to this because paper clips honestly just makes it gorgeous. And I got this as a gift from a subscriber so I just want to like jam pack this planner with really cute paper clips so I love this one and this one is just too cute Now I just want to add some cute little charms. I purchased these from Michaels. They are 80s charms. I had always wanted these when I was a kid and um, I don't think I ever really had any. And if I did, I probably had one or two. I'm probably gonna have to go and buy some more cute charms, but I'm just going to link these in here and they'll probably just kind of sit here on the inside. All right, now I'm gonna move on to wrapping my binder. So these are some head wraps and um, my do Target Dollar Spot binders usually get pretty thick. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these wraps. I think the gold is really beautiful. So let's play with a couple of these and see what looks best. Oh, this gold Oh my goodness, this gold is stunning. I mean, I don't even feel like I need to try the others at all. I really feel like this gold is just perfection. Finished up my basic setup. I do have plans for all kinds of other things, other DIYs that I'm gonna do with this, and they will be out very soon because I'm actually gonna film it today, but I'm just gonna make them into separate videos So, because they're different categories. So let's go ahead and take a look and I'm sorry about that noise, but my dog is eating now. So opening this up, we've got this file, expandable file folder. 
and we added the cute little rhinestone here. And as you can see, even just leaving it um, Velcroed to the binder, it's very easy to access. So I love that. But again, you can peel it off, take this with you, or go through it, or whatever it is that you need to do. And lining them back up is very easy to do. And then we've got this first section here, and I haven't labeled them, and I actually really don't, I'm not a fan of labeling um, file folders. I think that it looks a lot neater like this, and the colors really kind of tells me it's a label in itself. So, um, and because I don't have that many sections as well, I really don't feel the need to label them, but maybe as time goes on, I, I might label them. So here's the first section, and this is going to be where I have my vision board. So I've got these gorgeous paper clips here, and I have a little pocket folder as well. And then these are all the paper, the fillers that I'm going to use to put down all of, like, all of my dreams and, uh, you know, vision board stuff. So and then here's this section. I've got some more paper clips. They're really, really cute. Some tassels. And here's just some filler paper. This may be um, a tracking just to, you know, if I'm going to do a vision board here and pictures and things and words of all the things that I want to happen in my life, I may just like do a goals and tracking, you know, to make sure that I'm like you know, that my visions will come true. So I've got that. So I think that's definitely what this section is going to be. And then back here in this green section, I definitely want to write what I'm grateful for, what I have now. You know, I don't want to always, um, visions and goals and things are always in the future, but I want to live in the present too. And I want to document what I'm grateful for. And then here is the back here, and I've got some additional little, um, list pads, which I love this pattern right here. And then this cute little envelope, which I can add, you know, little things in here, whether it's receipts or pictures. Maybe if I um, find pictures I want, I can store them in here. And then when I'm ready to put down into my vision board, um, I can do that. So that way I can like store them here or something. So this is really cute back here and I love this. And obviously it's says cute, so of course it's cute. So now I am going to wrap this up with my Dollar Tree headband. Oh my gosh. That's so adorable. It, this is my Target Dollar Spot Vision Board Planner setup. I hope that you loved it. I hope that it inspires you. I hope that you it opens up your creativity and you realize that planning isn't just for, you know, check off, I've done this, I've done this. It can be for anything, you know? I mean, it can be the movies you want to watch or, you know, colors you want to bring into your wardrobe. I have that problem. I, like, I really gravitate towards blue, black, and white. So, you know, maybe you need to remind yourself, buy pinks or buy oranges. I mean, it, it doesn't have to be, you know, categorized as the most important thing or the most important things that you do. It can be some of the simplest, smallest things that you do. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and setting up my planner with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll link any videos that I mentioned earlier in the description box below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!